up y'all t-biz here and yeah we're gonna try to do a cooking vid i don't know why i just felt like doing it and see if we can do it and pull it off and have it be cool um yeah we got uh some stuff here we're gonna do shaky cam because whatever but anyways i got some uh guardian chicken strips plant-based whatever teriyaki i'm not gonna use the teriyaki sauce some red lentils or lentils and uh organic garlic lovers pasta sauce Gluten-free red lentil fusilli or fusilli fusilli jerry remember that on um What was that seinfeld got some spinach Got some onion powder some black ground pepper and some sea salt. I think this would be enough for it I, I'm not gonna get all fancy. There's a lot of other like youtube cooking channels with vegan and instant pot stuff where they go all nuts But we're just gonna keep it basic and see how it turns out All right, we got about a uh, Almost a whole cup of red lentils. I'm going to go ahead and wash them off and uh, get all the dust off them, I guess, before we put them in the pot. As you can see, they're kind of cloudy, so we're going to get all that cloudiness and dust, dirt off of it, and then uh, get it going. All right, folks, now the lentils are added. We're going to go ahead and add the pasta now. And we're going to go ahead and do this whole box. There we go. Probably shouldn't add these yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do it since they're kind of frozen, so uh, I don't care. I do what I want. So yeah, let's get this going. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to this. All right, folks, now I added just enough water, just to like barely cover the noodles, not all the way. I got the lentils on the bottom, stirred up a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach later and the sauce later, but I do need to add some seasoning up in there. I suppose we're just gonna add a teaspoon of uh, the garlic powder. You have a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. And then uh, grind up a little bit of salt in there too. That doesn't season it up. I always have some amino oils, some Bragg's amino oils. It's a pretty good soy substitute and uh, it's kind of salty. And I don't know, some people probably wouldn't want to add that to pasta or spaghetti or whatever, but I don't really care. So um, I think it tastes pretty good. And it's like I said, it's a good like substitute for, um, for like soy sauce and stuff like that. And plus it gives it a zip and zing and kind of makes it a little bit more saltier. Then again, I could have just added that instead of the salt, but oh, well, whatever. I totally might be screwing this up, but I usually do the pressure cook and just let it go forever because I don't really care. But um, I'm going to do six. I guess this is manual in the slow cook. I don't know, whatever, because everybody's all, they do it for manual, but and there's no manual on here. And I don't know, I can never figure that out. Anyways, I only use like a couple buttons on here. I don't really go through the whole rigmarole of all this stuff. But um, yeah, we're going to wait six minutes, open it up, see what's up. And if it's cooked enough, I'm going to go ahead and add the spinach and the, the pasta sauce. Well, I said screw it and put it on pressure cook for six minutes. We're going to go ahead and get this uh, out. Got my handy dandy oven mitt to do the little thingy bobber and uh, not burn my hand off. I gotta say it smells pretty good, but I think I need to let it cook in here for a little bit longer. Probably gonna go ahead and um, add my spinach too and just say, hey, what the heck. Well, I've added a little bit of spinach and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, sauce and let it cook for a little while longer. All right, now we're gonna let this puppy cook for a little bit longer. I'm screwing this up. Let's see if I can save this. Well, I may have burnt the bottom a little bit, but that really never ruins anything when I do that. So um, I think I think it'd be fine. Um, I think I need to let the pasta just let, let this simmer for just a little while longer and then we're gonna try some. All right, folks, well, it's off right now. I'm gonna let it sit for a while because this is kind of what I do sometimes. I know I know my uh, my ways of using the Instant Pot might be screwed up, might be unorthodox, but I don't think, I think the end process is gonna be pretty good. It usually is because I never throw away uh, an entire pot of food that I make even if I do like burn the bottom a little bit, but it's not like that kind of burn that Maybe Gordon Ramsay would like throw at me on Hell's Kitchen or anything like that, but uh, we'll see. It smells freaking great though, I'm not gonna lie. Check it out, I mean, it looks, it smells great. Look at that. And I guess the, um, the red split lentils kind of create a cheesiness to it, but um, probably, I don't know, I feel like there's too much water. Then again, that could be from, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the freaking um, spinach or whatever, or the frozen strips or whatever but we'll figure it out all right folks we got our co-host here super steve he's gonna hang out with us while we try this i mean i don't know it might not look appetizing to some people but i'm sure it's gonna be pretty tasty so let's try a little bit of this chicken strip and the noodle let's see it's gone yeah it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie noodles are just the right 
amount of uh, and just soft enough. Probably could have cooked them a little longer, but if I make a pot like this and there's a lot in there, I'll reheat it eventually again and stuff. Even the dip burn on the bottom a little bit, but it didn't burn bad, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. It smells good. Mm. I'm digging it. Plus, it's like somewhat healthy for you because you got good protein with the uh, red lentils. And then you've got the garden stuff. They make pretty good, like, uh, vegan imitation stuff. It's not bad. I think it's better than Beyond Meat or anything like that. Um, and then the, the red lentil fusilli, that's uh, also vegan. So... And you got the spinach, so all in all, you're not really doing bad. So, anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. Let me know what you think, and if you got any other ideas that are better than this, let me know. All right, y'all have a good one. All right, later.